morning vlog hello welcome or welcome back to my channel morning i'm getting emails it is time to start the day i'm back to vlogging a little bit which i'm very excited about i'm trying to throw in vlogs here and there a little bit more on my channel so if you do like the vlogs please make sure to give it a thumbs up drop me a comment and tell me that you like vlogging sydney also i mean if you hate the vlogs that's okay that's your opinion also let me know i really just want to make videos that you guys like to watch so let me know what you're feeling i'm kind of having a fun time getting into vlogging so i hope you like it anyway today is a productive like work day in my life hopefully it's obviously the morning so i'm not sure yet how productive it's gonna be but i have high hopes for the day we have a lot of things to get done i just did my hair and makeup i showered last night i'm like trying to switch up some routines so i showered last night and then like let my hair air dry overnight and then curled it and everything this morning and i usually shower in the morning and like blow dry and then curl it and i haven't been liking how my hair is looking so i actually think that the whole showering at night thing helped a little bit i feel like it's less frizzy which is what i was really concerned about so i think it went well i'm excited about that I also am doing a little bit different makeup today. I have not been feeling my makeup lately. I've been feeling like it's too much. I just was trying too many things. I really love makeup and I love experimenting with makeup, but I was trying too many different things recently and I was just like not feeling like myself. So I actually had a long talk with my mom yesterday about my makeup and like I was getting her honest opinions on like what do you think I should be doing what makeup do you not like on me and we had like just a really good discussion about what we think looks best on my face so i tried something a little bit different i essentially just did less and i actually really like it i just did like my concealer routine i did not put on any blush which is a huge change i'm usually like obsessed with blush so that's a huge change. I also did not line my lips, which is different. Ever since I've gotten my... Ever, ever, actually. I was going to say ever since I've gotten my lips done, but even before that, I always, like, overlined my lips with liner, just, like, a teeny tiny bit. And now that I've had my lips done, I have lip filler, I think that it's just gotten too much, and I didn't even realize it because I'm so used to just using lip liner. I didn't even think about it, but I don't know. I just think I wasn't liking how it looked. So all we did today is a little gloss on the lips. I did a lighter eyebrow than usual, and I put my lashes back on. I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the last few videos, I did not have, like, my normal lashes on. I was just using, like, a light, light coat of mascara. I was doing a little wing. I don't know. I've been having a time with makeup. Like, a fun time in one way, but also, like, not a fun time because I was having a midlife crisis about what looked good on my face anyway we killed the wing i still like her but not for every day so no wing today and i put on my lashify i actually did a little bit of a shorter lash than usual so i did 12 millimeters and 10 usually i do 14 and 12 so i don't know the real moment of truth is gonna be when we go over to see my mom later today in this vlog i'll be going over there in like four hours so when we go over there she will absolutely be giving her honest opinion on what she thinks my face looks like today so that will be the moment of truth what miss momager really thinks about my makeup but i think it looks way better i feel like myself i feel more natural but like i have a little bit of makeup on which i like i don't know that's like the longest makeup rant in the entire world and i'm going to stop talking about that anyway first order of business today i got a package let me go grab it so we have a little un unboxing to do today. I opened it already because I have absolutely no self-control, but I was like starting to take pieces out like two days ago when this got delivered. And then it like hit me. I was like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to save this for an unboxing. And I just started opening it. So it's open, but I put the stuff back and I only like actually looked at two items. So this is probably the most real unboxing you'll ever get because my self-control was pretty freaking good i would say i would say i had some good 
some control here. So anyway, this is a Revolve package. Thank you to Revolve for sponsoring this video. Of course, I'm going to have every piece I'm showing you guys linked in the description. I'm going to do like a mini try-on haul here. I'm going to like unbox them all first and then we'll go and try them on so you can see what they're looking like. But yeah, everything's linked in the description. I've also included my sizes in the description. Below all of the links, I have like my personal measurements and info if you want to use it for size reference. It is all down there. And I also have my like Revolve Favorites wish list linked below. So that has even more items that I'm absolutely obsessed with on Revolve. So if you want to do some extra shopping, see what else I'm loving on Revolve other than these pieces, check that out. It'll all be down there. So let's unbox the first few items. Like I said, I already opened, so I already saw these, but they're so cute. These are a little pair of like tan shorts and they feel really, really nice. They're like a good thickness. And this whole package is like spring break vibes, kind of like warmer weather inspired. I'm getting ready for probably like one of the most exciting trips ever that I will tell you guys about later in the vlog because I have a meeting today about it. But I was kind of shopping with that trip in mind. So a little bit more tropical pieces, warmer weather pieces at least. These shorts look so cute. I'm so excited to try them on. They're from Song of Style, which is a brand I've not yet tried on Revolve, so that's exciting too. I picked them up in a small, and they definitely look true to size, but I'm excited to see what these look like on. They also had a matching like um, button-up shirt that came with these that I think is coming in a later package. So I'll pop up a picture to show you guys what the set looks like together, but it's a little shorts and button-up shirt, and I think that is going to be like a total moment, and it's going to be obviously the same fabric since it's a set, and this feels so, so nice. Okay, next is this romper. I am screaming. This is so cute. So it is a bright green, and I'm really, really loving color since we're getting into spring, which is so weird for me to say that I'm loving color because I'm such a neutrals girl, but I do like the fun pops of color. So this romper looks so cute. It's from Super Down, which is one of my favorite Revolve brands. I feel like they're just such a good brand. I always love all the styles, and they are more affordable for a Revolve brand, I guess. I feel like their prices are always really good, and I like the quality. So anyway, this romper looks super cute. It looks true to size. The material feels so nice. It's like double lined all around. It has like a little tie on the waistband. I love the color of this. This just like screams spring break, like Miami, Florida. I don't know, I like it. I, yep, yeah, I'm excited about this one. Oh, it also has adjustable straps, which might be nice. So we will see, I'm really excited to try this one on. Okay, we have another little colorful piece. This one is a dress. Oh my gosh, so cute. This one is also from Super Down and I picked it up in an extra small. This one is like gonna be a crisscrossy moment. I think this is gonna be adorable, especially since you tie it around your neck yourself. I think I'll be able to get like a really good fit in this one. It looks true to size so far. I think this is cute. The material is also really, really nice as always. It's a double lined material and this is gonna be so good for my trip, guys. I literally can't wait to tell you about that trip. Okay, next item, and this is the last one that I already like unboxed a few days ago when I opened it and then you're really getting like the actual packages okay anyway this one is oh this one's also a little dress this one looked really cool because it's like an asymmetric moment so this is like a little spaghetti strap and then it has this off the shoulder one this one is also from super down grabbed her in an extra small and I just love a little black dress. I feel like this one will be really fun, but this looks really cute. Again, all double lined and feels really nice. This is literally so cute, like with a slick back bun or something and some fun pop of color heels. I, oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Oh, this next top. Okay. This one is so cool. I was wondering though, if it's going to be the same. Oh my gosh, it is. Wait, that's like the best thing ever. I did not expect that. Wait, are they from the... I'm stupid. They're from the same brand. Of course they match. I feel really dumb right now because in my head, for whatever reason, I thought that these shorts and this top that I picked up were from um, different brands on Revolve. So I was like, oh, they're probably not going to be like the same color. They're not going to match. But they're literally both from Song of Style. So of course they match. I don't know. I feel dumb. But anyway... 
wait that is gonna be so cute so this is like a bandeau top with I don't even know all these different things going on I just thought this was so cool and unique and such like a statement but it's also neutral I love when my statements are neutral because then they're just not too much I don't know this just screamed me like I saw this top and I was like I absolutely have no choice I need that and I literally am so excited that it is the same as the shorts because then I can wear this as a set I am so excited I hope this looks as good on as it does in my head right now okay what is this next piece okay this one is oh it feels so nice wait what oh my gosh this is the one that i was like the most excited for oh this is so good i'm oh my gosh i'm so excited about this hold on i just dropped the little belt okay 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 this is so good oh my gosh um if you guys watch gossip girl you know when they go to the the white parties or whatever and i saw this dress and i was like it would literally be my dream and like peak in life moment if i went to a white party and wore this dress because it's perfect but anyway probably won't go to a white party still gonna wear this dress and absolutely kill it it is so good i hope this looks as good on as it does i mean it feels absolutely amazing so i'm expecting a lot out of this dress Okay, this one I also got in an extra small, and I picked it up from the brand More To Come. It has this little belt that you tie around your waist. I love this. With, like, bright pink heels on vacation. Stop. This is freaking perfect. Or even dressed down with, like, a tall, chunky black boot, maybe? Make it edgier? I am so excited. Okay, I need to, like calm down a little oh i know what this one is this one's so cute okay this one looks kind of crazy so it's a bodysuit and i'm trying to like show you guys but it crisscrosses in the front and oh my god it's so soft i wish you could feel this what this one feels so good um it's also from super down and i got it in an extra small the material is so thick but like also very stretchy this one also has snaps at the bottom and it is definitely a cheeky actually thong style i would say so no underwear lines here we love that <gasps> cute oh this one's so cute this is a little bandeau top look at how cute this material is it's like frilly and pink this one's also double lined and it has that non-slip stuff on the inside which i love you also tie this one yourself so love that because it's definitely gonna fit perfectly oh this one is gonna be so cute this one is again from super down can you guys tell that i love super down i think over half of these items are super down i think this one is really 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 cute another that would be fun to style with like a black or white mini skirt or even jeans of course but i like how it feels i love the little frillies okay one more little clothing item and oh my gosh i forgot i got these oh these are so good okay okay they're a little just like beachy flowy pair of white shorts they feel so nice i am really picky about shorts especially like white flowy shorts like this i've gotten a few before that they're not like they don't feel like bad quality and not from revolve from different brands but like they'll wrinkle really easily and i hate when i have white shorts or pants that are wrinkled i don't know that's just like a huge pet peeve um these are perfect let me tell you so they're from tula rosa they're so so stretchy they're a ribbed knit material they're really thick not see-through in the slightest oh my gosh these are perfect i picked them up in a size small they're such a good basic like these could be a little cover-up short that you throw over a swimsuit they could be chill with a sweatshirt a little sports bra like these are the most essential little white shorts i feel like and this material absolutely cannot be beat this is even better than I expected. I'm so excited. Okay, last item. Wait, how cute is this? This one is from Lovers and Friends. And it is a little clippy. But look at how... Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Wait, guys. I think it matches my phone case like perfectly. Hold on. Where did I put it? How is that possible? Wait, look. Ready? I'm sorry. What? That that's too good my hair is like driving me nuts right now i literally just curled it and i'm putting it up if that doesn't describe me perfectly wait i'm so excited this was such 
a good revolve haul i'm like blown away i'm i'm obsessed okay anyway don't forget you can shop all these items using the link in the description next order of business well i have to film the try on of all this stuff first don't get me wrong i know you guys just saw that clip because i'm gonna like insert them as i was talking about it but in reality i have not yet tried on any of these so we have to go do that really quick so i'm gonna make all those clips that you already saw and then after i do that try on i have to film a few other things i have to film a little rent the runway try on series for my instagram stories and send that off to get approved so that it can go up this video is going to be going up on sunday so i have a few days to edit it which will be nice after i film all of those it depends what time it is because it's it's currently 10 38 and i have to be over to my mom's place by like 2 30 ish so we have four hours oh that's plenty so i'm gonna try on all that and then i think i should have plenty of time to podcast this morning because it's thursday my podcasts go up every friday but that is the plan right now and yeah you guys we'll see let's go do it okay okay i just finished filming the little revolve try-ons that you guys already saw and the rent the runway instagram stories um so we're all we're all good i'm having some lemon water I turned on my filming lights because it's starting to snow and it's kind of a gloomy day which is kind of sad and I threw on my white fox matching set for right now because I think next order business um, I'm gonna get some food I'm kind of hungry what time is it it's currently 1202 it's a good time to eat some lunch and then I have to clean up this mess that I made because literally anytime that I turn my camera on I swear it just like my room becomes a total tornado so now I have to clean that up it's 12.02 I have to be over to my mom's in two and a half hours to take some pictures but I need to style probably like three outfits before I head over there to get pictures with her so we have to put together those outfits which will be super fun I love doing that that's literally my favorite part of any day when I get to style outfits so we'll do that I think we're still going to try and podcast before we head off. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it tonight. Hopefully, that's the plan. The lighting is just ick, even though I have my filming light on. It's just a gloomy day. It is what it is. My room is a mess, though. Let me show you guys. It is a complete mess. Like, just things everywhere. I literally... I hate that so much about filming days, but it is what it is. So we have to clean up style and podcast and eat food. We have two and a half hours. Let's do it. Okay, hello. Lunchtime. Um, I'm having a little kid lunch today. I made myself turkey, hot dogs, and Doritos. I literally eat like a child, but that's my real life. I also, I've been obsessed with these lately. I was sharing them on my story the other day. They're naturally flavored sodas and this tastes so much like coke like actual coca-cola it's amazing but they're natural and they're obviously way better for you so that's just a little fun thing anyway you know that feeling when you know you have to do something and you can't put your finger on what it is that you have to do and you're like totally forgetting it and you're like mm, maybe maybe there wasn't something that i had to do and then you just go on with your day so that's been me and I was like, oh yeah, all I have to do is style outfits and podcast and go to my mom's. Girl is forgetting that I literally have on my schedule that I have to film like 10 TikToks today because I'm completely out of TikTok content and I'm totally slacking and I literally need to film TikToks. And I just about forgot about it and almost didn't film any TikToks today. So change of plans. We're eating. I'm doing some emails real quick and then we're going to style outfits pot not podcast oh my gosh i can't speak i need to eat um tiktoks we're gonna do all the tiktoks some of them probably here some in my car probably and some at my mom's then i'm gonna go to my mom's do the photo shoot we'll talk to you about what we're doing over there once we're there and then i'm gonna have to podcast later tonight which was the original plan but that's okay because i have to get tiktoks debt i have to get tiktoks filmed while 
it is still daylight. Podcasting does not have to happen in the daylight, so that's where we're at today. I almost forgot all my TikToks, and I'm going to go eat now, and I'm not going to make you watch me eat, because that's... ready to go. I got my bin of clothes to shoot some photos and we're about to drive over to my mom's but it's only 2.04 right now so a little bit early so I figured I would kind of chat with you guys since I have a second and I'm probably not going to have a second later tonight so I want to give you the rundown especially about the Miami trip that I have coming up that I haven't really said anything about on um, YouTube at least. If you're following me over on Instagram or on TikTok, I have talked a little bit about it. It actually like the trip started because I posted a TikTok um, probably about a month ago that was just like super random and I was like, I don't have spring break plans. Like I want to go to Miami. I What if like other content creators wanted to go? Like that'd be so fun. Just kind of like as a joke, I guess, asking like any content creators want to go to Miami with me, let's make new friends, whatever. And it actually kind of like worked. So I got a bunch of comments and DMs from literally the sweetest girls. And we put together a group and I think there are five of us now that are pretty for sure on actually going to Miami for spring break. So literally crazy how that worked out. I just posted a random TikTok and was like, now I'm actually going on a trip with a bunch of really cool girls and making some new friends. But anyway, tonight I have um, like a little Zoom meeting with all of the girls so that we can go over some of the plans. We're going to figure out like hotels, some travel details and all of that stuff. So yeah, I have a very busy night. Um, I have to jump on that Zoom. I think six o'clock my time and I have to get some stuff ready before it because it's gonna be a really quick meeting and I just want to have like hotels and stuff pulled together already so we can get to business on the quick meeting so yeah I'm really excited because I think we're gonna solidify some stuff tonight literally so exciting and I can't wait for you guys to see it when we go on this trip I am of course going to be doing a whole vlog for YouTube but I'm also gonna be posting a ton of content on Instagram and TikTok. So if you haven't followed me on those two, I'll have them both linked in the description so you can check it out. I post just a lot more like everyday content over there. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the rundown. So the plan for right now, I have my outfits in the back and I'm going over to my mom's to shoot some content. If you guys have watched some of my earlier vlogs, I've talked about how my mom's garage is like my studio because um, we have like a bunch of my clothes bins and just so much stuff. I used to film YouTube videos in the garage even, but now it's freezing. As you can see, it's snowy and it's way too cold to film in the garage now. Um, but sometimes we do pictures in there because we have studio lights in there and all that stuff. And that's the plan right now. Then I'm going to be running back, prepping for the Zoom meeting, jumping on the Zoom. Then I'm going to podcast and then hopefully I will be able to get to the gym and do some 12, 3, 30. And that will probably end the day. So, hopeful that we can get all that done. That's that. Okay, I'll chat with you guys when we see my mom. Okay, we just got, well, I just got over to my mom's. She doesn't want to be on camera today. She's not feeling the vibes. But... Maybe the next one. <laughs> but she's right here. And um, I told you guys earlier that she would give her honest thoughts on my makeup midlife crisis. So, all right, we'll here we go. Oh, it's way better. Actually? Yeah, actually. Okay, wait, look at my... It's actually so much more natural. Yeah, you don't look like you're about to go on stage. Thanks. Oh. No, it looks really good. It I, really does. It looks really good. So I did what we talked about last night. I did not do any blush. Yeah. I think that helps with yep. my skin tone. I did the normal thing that I've been doing with that new makeup where I do the light concealer and then the dark concealer and yeah. I just blend that. And I, I think don't that think good. that looks It looks cakey. like you have blush on a little bit. I don't have blush on, but it's a pinky red tinted like... That's why. Yeah. Whatever. 
And then I did not overline my lips, I just did gloss. Yep, it looks way better. And I did my eyebrows normally, and today I was reading comments and someone said, what is wrong with your eyebrows? Can you learn how to do makeup? And I was like, what is wrong? What's wrong with my eyebrows? <laughs> someone literally put that in Yeah, your what's wrong with my eyebrows? Is anything wrong with my eyebrows? Because now I'm going through a whole other midlife crisis. Like, what's wrong with my you eyebrows? You're not at midlife, right? Eh, you never know. You don't know when your midlife is. Well, then maybe you're at end life. <laughs> Okay. Um, someone seriously said that? Yeah, I don't remember what the comment directly was, but assholes. it literally was like, it was somewhere along the lines of like, can you learn to do makeup? Like, your eyebrows are awful. It was like coming out of my eyebrows, but I was like, okay. I've done my eyebrows the same for like three years. They just look like natural eyebrows. I actually did less. I feel like I've been doing less yes. yeah, than, I like it. than usual. I feel like they All look better. All you did was just kind of fill them in a little. Yeah, I just fill them. They're just normal eyebrows, and I put my normal... Actually, I didn't put my normal lashes on. I usually wear... Thicker. No, I usually wear 14s and 12s, and I did 12s and 10s. You normally do thick... Well, I said thicker, but you I don't usually do, do thicker. I do longer, yeah. So we like the makeup? A lot better. Okay, good. Macy hasn't said hi to the vlog today. Mm -hmm. Macy, you want to say hi? Say hi! Macy got a grandma's house. B-U-P, C-U-P. <laughs> Oh, she did? <laughs> okay, I have to take... Look at her. Um, yeah, she wants your food and her arms out of her sweater. Sweet. I have to change. I'm going to take some pictures in the studio garage. And I'll probably update you guys after that. Because I need this tripod to put my phone on. I will update you guys after pictures and show you if I get any cute ones. And... We'll talk, we'll bet, oh, I can't speak. Hello podcast, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sydney and I'm so glad you're joining me today. So I'm okay guys, I just got off the Zoom call with the girls. I'm so tired right now. This has been such a long day. A very productive day. Oh my gosh, I just realized I was going to work out. So the Zoom call went so, so well. I'm so excited. We got a lot of planning for the Miami trip done. I just wrote so many like pitches to send to hotels and we definitely have a really good plan and a good start so I'm really excited that this trip is happening and I'm so excited to share this with you guys and to go on this trip and vlog it I literally can't wait for this to happen and to tell you more about it and yeah anyway so the zoom call went amazing the girls are all so sweet and we definitely have a good start so yeah that was a really good night I still have to quick edit the podcast. I need to get it ready to go up <sighs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm so dead. Um, but I just remembered that I wanted to go do 12, 3, 30 at the gym. So like, do I do it? Do I go to bed? I'm so tired. I mean, it's only 7.45. I feel like I can still do it. Okay, guys, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna change and we're gonna go work out. We're gonna go get strong. I love doing 12 through 30 because I, it's like, it's just on the treadmill. So I can still like be on my phone. So I'm probably gonna work on the thumbnail for the podcast while I'm doing that so I can get a little bit done and we're doing it. We're being a productive girl today and we're going to the gym even though I'm exhausted. Okay guys, I just got back from the workout. I did, I did not do 12, 3, 30, let's be honest. I did like 12, 2.5, 20, but it's been a minute since I worked out, so I think that was a pretty good start. I feel really, oh, my body's cracking, but I feel really good that I moved my body. I think I needed it, but I'm even more exhausted than I was, and I was already tired, so I need to just 
edit my podcast quick, get that up for tomorrow morning, and I'm going to bed. So that is going to be it for this vlog, this productive day in my life busy work day in my life and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you're liking the vlogs and you want to see more vlogs. Let me know in the comments and I also love chatting with you guys in the comments so drop me a comment, say hey. That's it guys. I'm literally still out of breath. I need to get this edited so I can go to bed but that is all I love you so much thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one